So how bad is traffic in Vegas? Well, I've explained before that Vegas is pretty well laid out. Traffic isn't a huge problem. But we're going to ride between Flamingo Road and Sahara as I give you guys some commentary on what we're actually seeing. My name is Steven. This is Not Leaving Las Vegas. A full-time Vegas resident brings you videos and video blogs on Vegas. Do me a favor. Support us by just hitting that little subscribe button, smashing that little bell, and dropping us a comment so I can reply to your comments. So let's go and check out the traffic on Interstate 50. Today, February, middle of the week. Viva Las Vegas. Viva Las Vegas. All right, so you may or may not know this already, but uh, the main north south artery in Vegas is actually Interstate 15. And as we take a ride on it, you're going to notice a couple of things that are maybe interesting to you. Definitely interesting to me. Now, I moved here in 2004. And Vegas had a much smaller interstate in 2004. It was a city that was painfully in need of a giant interstate update and upgrade. There's a couple other roads in Vegas, but we're on Interstate 15. You also have the 95, which is a north-south that goes all the way down to Texas and all the way up to northern Nevada, and I believe into California and possibly even into Oregon. But this is the 15. It's the major one that goes to California. If you get on this, you go north, you end up going through uh, Utah, you go through Montana, you'll end up in Canada, where I'm from. Eventually, the Interstate 15 stops at the Canadian border, but uh, that's where it goes to. This road also goes all the way to California into Los Angeles. So we can see here that I'm basically just on the other side of Spring Mountain Road. I know I said in the intro I was going to be over at um, Flamingo. And in the distance, we can see the Palace Station and all of the billboards. Not much here except for the fact that the roads are perpetually under construction for what seems like the last decade. But the big thing is Project Neon, of course you had to call it that because it's Las Wages, Las Vegas. Project Neon is a big project that's uh, been going for the last few years. They claim that if uh, they didn't do this project, which is worth over a billion dollars, that Vegas would just suffer more and more accidents and more and more lost time due to accidents and possibly lost lives due to accidents. Now I'm trying to get off at the Sahara exit, but you can see the traffic that's not exiting. I'm on the very right lane, and if you are not familiar with driving on big roads, you'll know that in most cities, and also the same here, you have an express lane on the left-hand side. You can only drive in the express lane, also known as a carpool lane, if you have more than uh, one passenger, so I wouldn't even try it. It's a, it's a giant, giant fine. You don't want to have that. So, Project Neon has been going for a while, and thankfully it's nearly coming to an end. But I'm not going more than, say, 25, 30 miles an hour. And the cars on the left-hand side are definitely going a lot slower. Now, this was actually taken on a Tuesday afternoon. So it's not as though I'm on Friday drive time. The interstate has been completely shut down in the past. And a uh, fun fact about this uh, road here, um, Vegas saw an earthquake a couple of, about a year ago. It actually completely shut down the off-ramp that, one of the off-ramps, I believe Sahara. This is exiting off of Sahara. Uh, you can see the little hotels to the left, and that little flyover right there is actually Sahara Road. You can see all the traffic on my left is going to be going on to the main strip. I'm going west, but that goes on to the main strip, so tons and tons of traffic here. And uh, going underneath the actual interstate, as you can see right here, traffic gets a lot better. And eventually it just kind of dies. However, this is a bottleneck too, because they built a bunch of businesses and services. The first ever Chick-fil-A in Vegas is right here on the other side of where I'm at. And if I don't do something, I'm gonna get stuck in traffic. This is the US Bank Tower, and just going west on Sahara. One thing about Vegas though is you'll notice, see that flare? That is really bad. And uh, if you drive around in Vegas, you better have sunglasses, especially in the afternoon if you're going west, or the morning if you're going east. So that's just a glimpse at the interstate. If you like this uh, glimpse at the interstate, I want you to click like, maybe drop us a comment. Let us know what the traffic's like where you're at. And have you ever been in a giant traffic jam? Vegas has not a lot of traffic and I could have bypassed this interstate using any number of roads, but I thought it'd be interesting to go up and actually show you what's up. So here we go, looking into the extreme sun of Southern Nevada in February, mind you. I hope you guys enjoyed the drive. Leave me a comment if you want more traffic videos, if you want more videos about infrastructure in Vegas. Thanks for watching, and now the outro. 
So there you go, guys. Not a terrible amount of traffic, but definitely not something you'd want to sit in for too, too long. Hey, guys, thanks for watching. If you guys are coming to Vegas, you guys want to get around on the strip, need some expert help, want to get something for free, hit up the website in the link description below, vegasforfreenow.com. We'd be happy to get you guys some free vegas -y stuff through our timeshare partner that we have here in town. And if you guys like these videos, be sure to hit the subscribe button for more daily Vegas goodness. That's it for me. Let's go watch the traffic a little bit more as we drive down the 15. And I thank you for watching. Bye-bye.